schools that don't reopen in the fall lose funding. A bill co-authored by Representative Jim Banks says they should. It's called the Reopen Our Schools Act, and it's drawing criticism from Banks' opponent, who's running for the District 3 seat this November. Wayne 15's Brianna Brownlee spoke with Banks' challenger and joins us in Studio 15 with more. Bree? Dirk Tear last week I spoke to Representative Jim Banks and he says we need to change the subject from our schools might not reopen to our schools will reopen. However, when I spoke to his challenger Chip Codarn, he says this bill is irresponsible. The Reopen Our Schools Act is a bill co-authored by Representative Jim Banks that will stop federal funding for schools that refuse to reopen for in-person learning in the fall. We're at risk of leaving an entire generation of kids behind if we don't get them back in the classroom and provide them the adequate, far superior education in the classroom than, the, than what they would receive um, if they were left at home uh, learning virtually. His challenger Chip Codarn says federal legislators shouldn't try to strong arm school districts into reopening if they aren't comfortable. I really, um, I really felt, felt angered at it because I felt like he was trying to take some power out of the, the local school district and the, and the superintendents. Codarn is a science teacher at Norwell High School and says that the bill is irresponsible. He adds that there is still a lot that is unknown regarding the coronavirus. One thing that we need to keep in mind is that this bill um, even though Representative Banks is from Northeast Indiana, uh, would apply to schools throughout the entire country. Representative Banks says that research suggests that children are at low risk of becoming infected by the coronavirus. And if they are, the risk of serious illness is rare. Um, as we're seeing states reopen uh, throughout the country, we're seeing uh, 20s and 30 year olds uh, continue to get uh, high numbers of infections as well. So. Um, so to simply say across the board that students aren't going to get it if we, if we go back to school, I think it, it, there's just not enough data to support that yet. Now when I did speak with Banks, he did tell me that his goal isn't to defund schools, but to get children back in the classroom. To read more about the Reopen Our Schools Act, visit Wayne.com. In Studio 15, Brianna Brownlee, Lane 15 News. Three, thank